Jeez, you're dripping everywhere. It's too soon for that. Mm. It's that time of year, folks. Welcome everyone to the 2023 AO3 Ship Stats Report. So starting in 2013, 10 years ago, happy decade anniversary, the AO3 Ship Stats Project run by Centrum Lumina, aka Center of These Lights, annually compiles the stats for the top 100 ships on popular fanfiction website archive of our own, AO3, and slaps all the data into a beautiful spreadsheet that everyone can then ooh and ah at. And in addition to the top 100 ships of the year, the stats for the all-time top 100 ships on AO3 as a whole are also updated. And there's also a separate spreadsheet for the top 100 fem slash ships of the year, or female female ships, since unfortunately those tend to get buried. On each of these spreadsheets, you can see each ship's rank, their change in rank from the previous year, what the pairing is, what characters are in it, what fandom the ship belongs to, how many new fanfics for the ship have been added since last year, the total number of fanfics for the ship overall, the type of ship pairing it is, so there's gen or general, which means there's no romance, m slash m means it's a romantic ship between two guys, F slash M means it's a romantic ship between a girl and a guy, and F slash F means it's a romantic ship between two girls. And then other means that there could be more than two people in the ship, or one of the people in the ship is non-binary, or the ship is ambiguous, or it just doesn't fall under any of those other categories. And then race conveys what race each character in a ship is. I love me some good data. I always really enjoy crunching through the numbers and seeing the trends of the ships, what ships come and go each year, what ships go up and down, new ships that come into play, old ships that stick around. It's like having your finger on the pulse of fandom. And it's always super inspiring seeing just how many new works of fanfic are brought into the world each year because people feel so inspired and feel so much for these ships that have captivated them that they create something and share it with the world. I feel like every year when these spreadsheets pop up, people treat it like the Super Bowl and each ship is like their sports team they're rooting for. And if their ship went up a few ranks, they're like, yeah, we're winning! And if your ship dropped a few ranks or off the spreadsheet altogether, it's like, no, 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 we have to catch up. We have to catch up next year. Some people take this very, very seriously. And on one hand, it could be a good thing. Like, oh, cool, they're inspired to keep their rank and keep creating and keep that momentum going for the ship that they like, or they want to catch up and so they're making more. But on the other hand, it could also turn into a numbers game where the ships and their fanfics are treated like content for fandom clout for whatever that's worth. It's not worth anything. And people could be like, Oh, well, our ship is a way higher rank. It has way more fix than yours. Your ship sucks. And then, oh, well, your ship is just stupidly overrated. So, f you. Ooh. Let's not turn it into something it's not. None of us play sports here. And reminder that quantity does not automatically equal quality. All these numbers show is what ships gave people the most brain rot this year. Like, obviously, I'll do a little jig and celebrate if the ships I like go up in rank or if they make an appearance on the spreadsheet. But if they don't... But I digress. I'm super excited to go through this spreadsheet with you. I have not seen anything for it yet. I'm going in totally blind. I have ideas for what ships might be higher or lower than last year or what ships might have made new appearances, but I don't know. If there are any ships that immediately come to mind and you want to make a guess or cast your vote as to where they'll be on the spreadsheet ranking wise, or if they'll be on the spreadsheet, then feel free to take a moment and do so in the comments. And then once we're done, you can go back and edit it and see if you were right or wrong or if something took you totally off guard. Heck, throw in a wild card guess for funsies. So without further ado, Let's set sail. Okay, so just briefly going through the fandom list, we've got a very nice mix of stuff. Like I'm not seeing any one fandom totally dominating. And kicking this off, the number one ship on AO3 in 2023, raising up nine ranks from last year is Steady, Steve Harrington and Eddie Munson from Stranger Things. 13,000 new works, holy f now, I know there was a little bit of a controversy involving Steady in which some Steady shippers decided to try to spam AO3's Steady tag with garbage yeah. fix. Garbage fix being fixed with like nothing in them. Like there were maybe a couple sentences or like loose outlines, but it wasn't a story. Of course they all got taken down, but that's an example of fic rankings and ratings becoming a numbers game. And it sucks because at the end of the day, when people do that, they're just shooting other shippers in the foot. Like when this was happening, people would go into the steady tag and be like, oh cool, a new fic, and they click on it and there's nothing there. There's maybe like a note that says, hee hee, steady number one, and that's it. You're depriving your fellow shippers of actual fanfics and messing with the raw data, unforgivable. It sucks because I like Steady and so do many other awesome people, but it now has that kind of tainted reputation because of that stunt. But yeah, I hope that this was all organic growth and not just this silly 
spamming the tag with as many fix as we can so we can be number one. Now at the number two slot, we've got Sirius Black and Ramus Lupin, AKA Wolfstar. Up two spots from last year, nice. We've got almost 41,000 fix. Jesus. The number three ship is Alhatham and Kave from Genshin Impact. As a brand new entry, that is wild. 6,000 fix, not bad. Number four, up 15 ranks from last year, is Dazai and Chuya from Bungo Stray Dogs. I see fix and art and edits for them pop up all the time. I really gotta get into that ship more. Number five, as a new entry, is John Soap Mc... Metavish and Simon Ghost. Oh, is that the ghost from Call of Duty? What the hell? Oh my gosh, that's actually really funny. Yo, Call of Duty making top five. I did not see that coming. Well, I guess neither did Ghost. Anyway. <laughs> Number six of 55 spaces is Regulus Black and James Potter. Jegulus from Harry Potter, the Marauders fandom. 55 spots, that's insane. Number seven, down two ranks from last year, is Blackbeard, Ed Teach, and Steed Bonnet from Our Flag Means Death. We've got two Eds in the top 10 though. Number eight, also down two ranks from last year, is Bakugo and Izuku from My Hero Academia. Baku Deku still refuses to give up their spot in the top 10 though. 30 8,000 fix for those two. Holy sh! <laughs> Number nine, down eight ranks from last year, is Wilbur Soot and Tommy Innit from Minecraft. Or Minecraft YouTube. Yeah, I have a feeling that most of these Minecraft ships are going to be down from last year. Number 10, up 29 spots, is Will Byers and Mike Wheeler from Stranger Things. Byler fans, you did it. You made it the top 10. <laughs> Two Stranger Things ships already. Number 11, as a new ship entry, is Wednesday Adams and Enid Sinclair from Wednesday, the Netflix show. Well, I wasn't very fond of the show. The pairing is cute. I like the sort of aesthetic differences between them. Our first female female ship. Let's go. Number 12, up six ranks from last year, is Hermione Granger and Draco Malfoy, Dramini from Harry Potter. I wonder what caused them to jump up. It could be all the Dramini edits I've seen floating around on TikTok. Number 13, dropped down 11 ranks from last year, is Wilbur Soot, Technoblade, and Tommy Innit, and Phil Watson from Minecraft, Minecraft YouTube. Now our second platonic ship on the list. Number 14, up 36 spaces, wow, is Jisung and Minho from Stray Kids. They passed the 10,000 fix threshold, almost at 12,000 fix now, jeez. Number 15, up 44 spaces from last year, our, that's officially our second biggest jump, is Robin Buckley and Nancy Wheeler, Ronance from Stranger Things. Our second fem slash ship. Stranger Things is having a sweep right now. The fandom's eating well. I love the name of this ship, Ronance, Romance. A plus ship name, it's cute. Number 16 as a brand new entry is Dream and Hob from the Sandman TV show. I'm sad I never got to talk about the Sandman while it was still up and popping, but I might do something for it down the line. It's just not super high priority at the moment. Number 17, also as a brand new entry this year, is Damon Targaryen and Rhaenyra Targaryen from the House of Dragon TV show. Oh, it's been so funny seeing people like grappling with whether to ship them or not. Like, oh, they have really good chemistry, but also... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number 18, up 15 spaces from last year, is Amity and Moose from the Owl House, Lumity. I love them so much, they are so cute. I saw so much Lumity at Anime Expo this year and fed me so well. They have over 10,000 fix, let's go. Number 19, still in the top 20, but down five ranks from last year is Aziraphale and Crowley from Good Omens. The Ineffable Husbands. I have a feeling that that number's gonna just go way up for next year. And number 20, shooting up 63 ranks from last year. That's our biggest jump yet, is the platonic ship between Robin Buckley and Steve Harrington from Stranger Things. 63 spots up. <laughs> I really enjoy the relationship. I love seeing them as besties in fix, so I am perfectly happy with this. Hello, outfit change. We're on 21 now, which is James Potter and Lily Evans Potter from Harry Potter. I said Potter like three times in a row. <laughs> or the Marauders fandom. Jilly fans, you guys went up two spots from last year. Number 22 is a new entry. It's Marlene McKinnon and Dorcas Meadows from 
Harry Potter. I do not know those characters. Are they side characters that people got really attached to? Well done, Marlene and Dorcas shippers. You made it to the top 30. Number 23, down eight spots from last year, we have Tartaglia, Child X Zhongli from Genshin Impact. I'm not surprised it's down eight spots just because Chili hasn't had any interaction since Liyue. We've kind of been feeding ourselves on that front. <laughs> Number 24! Oh my god, okay, so it's a new ship, although it's not new in the sense that, like, it's been around for literal decades. It's Vash the Stampede and Nicholas D. Wolfwood from Trigun. Vashwood! Yes! I love my tragic men so much. Wolfwood's an alien f***er. We stand him for that. Number 25, also a new ship, is Aemond One-Eye Targaryen x Luceres Valerian? Valarion? From House of Dragon. Okay, so sorry if this is disappointing. I haven't seen the entirety of House of Dragon. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But isn't Luceres the guy who takes Aemond's eye out? I mean, hey, it's a look. Oh, f Okay, number 26, down 23 spots from last year is Lanzan and Wei Wuxian from... Wang Xian went from number three to number 26. Oh, that hurts. I'm a little surprised just because I feel like Danmei has been getting more and more popular recently because the published English translation finished not too long ago and then the published manhwa is still coming out. Maybe it'll shoot back up for next year, but I guess just other ships had more. Number 27, a new entry is Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The platonic ship between all of them. That's really sweet, actually. I know Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got a huge boost in popularity in the past couple of years. The movie came out. I hesitate to say if I was ever in the fandom for TMNT, just because while I did watch the show with my brother, I never really went out of my way to learn more about it or like that extra step into being a fan for it like I was for other fandoms. Like, it was just a piece of media I enjoyed. I never lost my mind over it. Because the four brothers are so different, though, I really enjoy seeing every permutation of the interactions they have. Like, oh, Donatello and Leonardo are gonna have a much different relationship than Mikey and Raphael. You get different flavors of sibling dynamics, and as someone who grew up babysitting my brother and all my cousins, who were basically like siblings to me, Whenever I look at these dynamics, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of my relationship with this person and this person. Number 28, down six spots, is Eraserhead and Present Mike from My Hero Academia. I'm quite surprised they're still hanging on because I haven't really heard much for that ship in a while. They have over 20,000 fix! Yo! Eraser Mike heads are still going strong. Number 29, a new ship entry, is Sino and Tagnati from Genshin Impact. Sinati, very, very cute ship. I got some art for them at Anime Expo. I I actually was expecting for Kave Them or High Kave to be lower than these two. Well, okay, you know what I think it is? I think High Kave has a different juice about it. Like Sinari, they're cute, they're domestic husbands running around doing errands together. High Kave, they're both tall, pretty boys, they have a history, it's angstier, and people are like, oh, they're f Number 30 as a new entry as well is Pete and Vegas from Kin Porsche. Kin Porsche is a Thai BL. It's very, very spicy, and it's essentially like a mafia fic brought to life. Pete and Vegas aren't even the main characters, too. They're side characters. Number 31, down 20 spots from last year, is Buck and Eddie from 911. Yeah, I think what happened is that they had a really big hype bubble surrounding them in 2022, and then this year, unfortunately, just popped. Some people know a lot about like the housing market bubble and other economic bubbles out there. Me, I know about the ship economy bubble. <laughs> it's like playing the stock market. It's like, oh yeah, no, this ship is going to have a projected growth of at least eight spots for next year. You're thinking top 20. Number 32, down two spots from last year, is Bakugo and Izuku, so platonic Bakudeku, from My Hero Academia. Number 33, down 17 spots from last year, is the platonic ship between Technoblade and Tommy Init from Minecraft YouTube. Number 34, this is a shocker, down 27 spots is Draco Malfoy and Harry Potter. Dreary. This is a classic fanfic ship. I mean, look at that number. That's a whole fandom in itself. If you're a Dreary fan that writes fanfic, are there any other ships that just took up more of your time? That is shocking. That's been our biggest jump down so far. Number 35, a new entry is Barty Crouch Jr. and Evan Rossier from Harry Potter. I have a feeling this is also linked to Marauders because there's a throwaway line about the guy who read it out, Barty Crouch Jr. What's his face from Durmstrang? The head of the Bulgarian school in Harry Potter. But yeah, he 
is like, oh yeah, Rosier, and then dot dot dot, Barty Crouch Jr. It is a side villain ship, and they have over 2,000 fix. Number 36, down nine spots from last year, is Jon Jong Kook and Kim Tae Hyung, aka V from BTS, Tae Kook. Not terribly surprised just because BTS is temporarily on hiatus while the members do their military service and their solo activities. They still have quite the sizable number of fix though. Number 37, down three spots, is Aizawa, aka Eraserhead, and Izuku from My Hero Academia. Holy hell, there's a whole train of new ships coming up. Number 38, we've got Craig Tucker and Tweak Tweak from South Park, Creek. So initially, Creek started out as kind of like a joke in South Park. A South Park team member found Creek fan art and brought it to Matt and Trey. And they were like, oh, that's hilarious. Let's do an episode about Yaoi and make it about Creek. But people genuinely liked the ship. And so it started being taken more and more seriously in the show. And fans went from ironically going like, oh, it's Creek to unironically going, oh, it's Creek. Personally, I just think it's cute. The dynamic is funny and it was a happy little accident. Number 39, we have Porsche and Kin from Kin Porsche. These guys are the main couple in the show. Number 40 is Nick and Charlie from Heartstopper. That's probably gonna go up because of the new season that just came out. Number 41, it's Kamishiro Rui and Tenma Tsuikasa from Project Sakai Colorful Stage. I do not know what that is. I feel like it, it sounds like a rhythm game. If you know about this ship, then please let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Number 42 is, I am so sorry. I do not know if I want to try to say that. Hoche Pichaya Kitty Sawat and Kim Kiman. This is another side pairing from Kin Porsche. Again, I am so sorry to any of my audience who was Thai. You have full permission to laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, no, this is another one that I'm not terribly familiar with. Number 43. Oh, we have a tie for 43. So 43 slash 44. We have Dazai and Chuya platonically from Bungo Stray Dogs. And that is tied with Tom Iceman Kazansky and Pete Maverick Mitchell from Top Gun. Guys, we have Top Gun Yaoi in the top 50. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I knew that Ice Mav or Mav Ice was a thing, but I didn't think it'd be this big. Yeah, sh it went from like 700 fix to almost 3,000. I guess the new Top Gun made people rewatch the old one. And so it might have re sparked some stuff for people who used to ship it back in the day, or it started up something for people who were introduced to the ship because of the new Top Gun. Because let me tell you, these shippers have been around for a while, literally since the 80s. Oh my god. Fun fact, okay, I was in Japan in June and I was in a dojin shop just perusing stuff and I came across a treasure trove of Top Gun dojin. It had its own little dedicated section, like people really enjoy the ship in Japan. Number 45, down 37 spots is Dream Not Found. So Dream and George Not Found from Dream SMP. I think that took the spot for the biggest ranking drop. If you were or are a Dream Not Found shipper, and this is me genuinely asking, how's it been for you considering everything going on? Number 46, up two spots from last year is Olivia and Elliot from Law and Order. This ship is back. This is our fifth straight ship? Fourth straight ship. Number 47, as a new ship entry, we've got Sister Beatrice and Ava Silva from Warrior Nun. Well, I didn't get a chance to watch Warrior Nun yet. I do know that it was unfortunately canceled. I would like to know more about this ship though, because Nuns That Kick Ass is a really cool premise. Number 48, down two spots from last year is Sato Sugu or Suguru and Sataru from JJK, Jujutsu Kaisen. Gojo Ghetto, Goga, Five Summers, there's a lot of names for this ship. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine, I say, while well, not being able to look at a KFC sign without crying. Anyway, number 49, a new entry. We've got Rooster and Hangman from Top Gun. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, this is so funny. Dude, two Top Gun ships made top 50. Hell yeah. You know what? I could see it. I understand. Yet another instance of Rivals to Lovers, plus that beach football scene. Mm. Number 50, up seven spots from last year. We have and Hua Chung and Xilian from Heaven Officials Blessing. That's what they deserve. Number 51, a new entry. We've got Kyle Profloski and Stan Marsh from South Park. Style. God damn. Yeah, no, the South Park fandom completely blew up earlier this year. It's so... I'm trying to think of a word for it. Like, I'm just utterly fascinated that a show like South Park that takes the piss out of everything and is just very, very out there has 
ships that are taken very seriously and consequently shipping discourse. It's a very curious phenomenon. Number 52, also a new ship entry, we've got Hunter and Willow from the Owl House. Huntslow, Winter, adorable ship, I love them so much. Number 53, up 14 spots, is Diluc and Kaya from Genshin Impact, the platonic ship between them. For a new ship entry, we've got Alhatham and Kaveh from Genshin Impact, platonically. Number 55, also a new entry that's also platonic, it's Ellie and Joel from The Last of Us. Number 56, yo! Miraculous fans have had enough. It's Adrian and Marinette from Miraculous Ladybug dropped 43 spots. Damn, I think that took the crown for the biggest drop so far. But I do know that some stuff has happened in recent months and that number might go back up next year, so stay tuned. Number 57 is a new entry. It's Mikage Ryo and Nagi Seshiro? Seshiro from Blue Lock, the soccer sports anime, which I have actually not watched yet. It's on my list, it's on my list. I swear I'll watch it soon. I gotta make a video about it. I love my sports anime, so I will watch it soon. I've seen clips here and there, and it looks fantastic animation-wise. Number 58, another new ship entry is Kim Tokja and Yu Jung Hyuk from Omniscient Reader. It's a webcomic and yet another piece of media I have to get into. <laughs> Number 59, our first X readership. Another new entry is Simon Ghost Riley, X Reader from Call of Duty. <laughs> People want to f ghost. I mean, look at that face. Could you resist that face? I mean, be honest. <laughs> Ooh, number 60, down 40 spots is Kiri Baku, Bakugo and Kirishima from My Hero Academia. That is a big drop. Number 61, a new ship entry is Karehara Kazuha and Skaramouche from Genshin Impact. Number 62, down 11 spots from last year is Dobby and Hawks from My Hero Academia, also known as Hot Wings. Number 63, I'm a little confused because Spurk has been on these lists before. Number 64 as a new entry is the platonic ship between Donatello and Leonardo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Number 65, up 26 spots, damn, is Eda Clawthorne and Rain Whispers from the Owl House, yes. Number 66, a new entry is Regulus Black and Sirius Black, the brothers from Harry Potter, or more specifically, the Marauders fandom. Number 67, another new ship entry is Zoro and Sanji from One Piece. One Piece has made an appearance, everybody. Damn, about time. Number 68, another new entry is Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars. Obi-Kin, or, and Anobi? I see Obi Ken more often, most likely due to the TV show Kenobi. I was just so amused when I kept on seeing Obi Ken pop up on my timeline. Like, where did you guys come from all of a sudden? <laughs> Number 69 is a tie between One Direction and Minecraft. We've got Stylinson, which is Harry Styles, and Louis Tomlinson from One Direction, which shot up 16 spots from last year. Why? I do not know. If you care to enlighten me, then please do. And then Tubbo and Tommy, and it's the platonic ship from Minecraft YouTube, down 57 spots. The Minecraft YouTube bubble from last year has definitely popped, and a lot of the fans I know have gone to other SMP fandoms or have just gone to other fandoms in general. It is still very much around though, and I do predict that we will see new Minecraft YouTube ships from other SMPs. Number 71, a new ship entry is Mary McDonald and Lily Evans Potter from Harry Potter or the Marauders. Number 72, another Stray Kids ship is Hyunjin and Felix. Oh jeez, there's like five in a row new ships. Number 73, a new ship is Lucy Carlisle and Anthony Lockwood from Lockwood & Co. I've seen these names, but I'm not familiar with Lockwood & Co. Number 74 is Aoyagi Toya and Shin Onome Akito from Project Sekai Colorful Stage. Number 75 is Jesper and Wylan from Six of Crows. <gasps> no, number 76, down 48 spots is K 
Caitlin and Vi from Arcane. Kate Vi, Vi Kate, Violin, Piltover's Finest. Ugh. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. They'll be back. They'll be back once Arcane comes back eventually. <laughs> Number 77 is a new ship entry. It's Lu Chengxiang and Yang Tian or Er Langxin from New Gods, which is a movie. Unfortunately, I do not know much about it. Number 78, down 29 spots. Holy hell, it's Hanagram! Will Graham and Hannibal Lecter from Hannibal! Number 79, down 48 spots, is Technoblade and Phil Watson, or Philza, from Minecraft YouTube. Number 80 is a new- <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a minute. It's a new entry. It's Dean Winchester X Reader. Oh, people have been after Dean in the past year. That caught me really off guard. I'm so used to seeing Dean with, like, Castiel, or there's Wincest, but now we have Dean- X Reader, our second X Reader ship on this spreadsheet. Number 81, down 44 spaces is Wilbur Soot and Technoblade from Minecraft YouTube. Number 82, a new, oh, there's a bunch of new ones. It's Choi Soo Bin and Choi Yeon Jun from TXT. Number 83 is Tim Bradford and Lucy Chen from The Rookie. I do not know what that show is. Number 84 is Ryonosuke and Atsushi from Bungo Stray Dogs. Number, oh, it's a tie for number 84. So the other 84 is Maxine, Max Mayfield, and Lucas Sinclair from Stranger Things. We have a Winston cameo. Say hi, Winston. Oh, we got a Polo cameo too. <laughs> what do you think of the ships on this year's spreadsheet, Winston? Please, please tell the audience what your thoughts. That's pretty good. Say bye bye. Number 86 is down 51 spots from last year. It's Tommy Innit and Phil Watson, Philza from Minecraft YouTube. Number 87, only down one spot. It's Sasuke Uchiha and Naruto Uzumaki from Naruto. Sasunaru shippers holding on to this pairing with a death grip. They are not letting it slip. Number 88, up seven spots from last year is Eddie Munson X Reader from Stranger Things. It's the hair, isn't it? <laughs> And a handful of new ships to bring us into the 90s. Number 90 is Simon and Wilhelm from Young Royals, a TV show. I have heard of this show, but I have not actually heard of this pairing. Number 91 is Blackbeard, Ed, and Izzy Hands from Our Flag Means Death. Whew, messy, messy. Number 92 is Grian and Ryan from Hermitcraft SMP. Kind of surprised we didn't see more Hermitcraft earlier in the spreadsheet. Number 93 is Chrissy Wake Up and Eddie Munson from Stranger Things, also known as Hell Cheer, which is cute. Number 94, oh, it's Alicent Hightower and Rhaenyra Targaryen from House of Dragon. Oh, this one is messy and spicy. Number 95, down two spaces, is Bakugo and Todoroki, or Todobaku, from My Hero Academia. Wait, sh was Tododeku not on here? Sh wait, oh, that hurts. Damn. I've been seeing a lot of cute Toto Deku art lately though, so it's fine. Number 96, yo! Okay, new ship, it's Tim Drake and Jason Todd platonically from Batman. Yeah, it's a very similar thing to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where I just love the brotherly dynamics between all of the Robins. I'm very, very happy that we got some Robin rep in this spreadsheet. Number 97 is a tie between the new ship of Six-Eared Macaw and the Monkey King from Lego Monkey Kid. Hey, yo. And, oh! <laughs> No! Oh, f Saku Atsu dropped 68 spots. That's the biggest drop of the spreadsheet. Saku Atsu went from crack ship to one of the top ships in Haikyuu to just barely making the list. Yeah, again, you really see what pieces of media, what fandoms come and go with this spreadsheet. Okay, and number 99 is down 34 spots from last year. It's barely squeaking in, but it's Min Yoongi and Park Jimin from BTS. She Cook didn't even make the list. That is surprising. <laughs> That's like one of the behemoths of the BTS shipping fandom. And last but not least, number 100 in our top 100 ships on AO3. It's a new entry, Joyce Byers and Jim Hopper from Stranger Things. Jopper, we be jopping. Yay! <laughs> Is it just me or were there way more new ships on here than previous years? 53 new ships, over half the ships on this spreadsheet are new entries. So either they're from a new piece of media that just took people by storm 
or people found the ship and fell in love with it and then gave it a huge boost. Okay, well, speaking of older ships, let's go ahead and go into the all-time top 100 ships of AO3. Typically, the numbers for this don't change too much just because the big ships on AO3 are very, very big, and so they don't budge all that much. Unless, of course, a new ship comes in and just swoops in. Okay, yeah, no, nothing too, nothing too egregious. The top three ships in the all-time top 100 ships of AO3 of all time have not changed. It's Castiel and Dean, Destiel from Supernatural, there's John Locke, Sherlock and John from Sherlock, and then Derek and Styles, Steric from Teen Wolf. God, that is a big number. <laughs> wow, Destiel, how come your mom lets you have that many fix? <laughs> but what's funny is that even though Dreary went down in the ranks last year, Overall, it went up a spot. It switched places with Stucky. The Ineffable Husband swapped places with Stony. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna swap places with Stucky next year. Wolfstar went up. Stylinson went down, but it's still in the top 10. Baku Degu didn't budge at all. Taekook lost its spot in the top 10. It's number 11 now. <gasps> okay, okay, that makes me happy. So Wang Xian, even though they dropped a lot last year, they still actually went up one spot in our number 12 overall. And the same thing actually happened for Miraculous with the Love Square. Oh no. <laughs> Clance is still here. It dropped three ranks, but it's still here and it probably will stick around unless something really, really comes in and just wax it away. Wincest is the same. Malik is the same. Kiribaku. Murther went up. Really? I mean, even though it wasn't on the spreadsheet, it's still going strong. Yeah, geez, over 27,000 fix. Peter and Tony. Jiukuk made the top 20. Ooh, Raylo dropped four spots. And then there's Yumin, Anagram. Oh, Victor and Yuri dropped five. I'm honestly still glad they're on the top 100. <laughs> Dramini went up. Oh, sh**. The Bungo Stray Dogs fandom really kicked off. Dream Not Found actually went up one. That's interesting. Oh, Wilbur Soot and Tommy in it went up 14. Yeah, it's funny comparing the spreadsheets here. Oh my god. <laughs> Steady managed to get number 35 as a brand new entry to the overall top 100 ships. Damn. No, Super Corp went down. Our first female female ship on this list. Blaine and Kurt is still around. Wow. Burke. Okay, well, you know what? For a ship as old as theirs that's been spread across multiple platforms, I'm happy that they're here. <laughs> Platonic Baku Deku made top 50, up 14 spots. Sheath dropped 10, and then Swan Queen dropped 5. Kylux dropped 11 spots. Number 63, a new entry with Ed and Steed. Oh, sh I totally forgot that Sugar Cookie was in the top 100. They dropped four spots, but still. Sasunari went up nine, surprisingly. Oh my god. God, Chili went up 22 spots. Technoblade and Tommy Inup went up 15, and then Rui went up 10. Oh, and then a new entry with Jisung and Minho from Stray Kids. We've got our smattering of K-pop here, and then down 15 is, oh, sh why 5-0? I don't know if I just totally blanked out and didn't notice them last year or if I forgot, but yeah, that also was a bit of a jump scare. <laughs> a platonic entry with the new ship of Aizawa and Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Clint and Natasha went down 19. Persebeth stayed totally still. Felicity went down 12. Phil and Clint went down 10. Oh, I almost didn't notice Thilbo. Thilbo's still here! A new entry at number 95. It's Lumity from the Owl House. Oh. Oh, but Catradora went down 10, and then the 10th Doctor and Rose went down 13. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to see these guys next year. Yo, Dobby and Hawks actually made it. Hot Wings. Kuroken. Oh, it's going to break my heart, but I doubt they'll be here next year, too. And then lastly, at number 100, it's Rambu and Tubbo from Minecraft YouTube. And then to close it out, we'll look at the top 100 fem slash ships. Also did not budge. It's Super Corp at number one from Supergirl, Kara, and Lena. At number two, it's Swan Queen, Regina and Emma from Once Upon a Time. And then number three, it's Clark and Lexa from the 100, Clexa. Lumity went up one yeah. It swapped with Catradora. Bumblebee is the same. Kurosami is the same. Oh my God, Marlene and Dorcas went up 15 spots and then Ronance went up 23. Violin actually went up Four. Wednesday and Enid made it at number 17 as a new ship entry. Baekwong made it to number 31, up 10 spots. Yes, 
Yes, I love them so much. Maya and Karina from Station 19. 26. Carlyvy is sitting pretty at number 34. A new entry at number 35. It's Sister Beatrice and Ava from Warrior Nun. Mary McDonald and Lily Evans is a new entry at number 50. L Max went up 34. <laughs> oh, Amphibia made it here too. What the? What the? F Gideon and Narrow. Narrow Hark in the Locked Tomb series is up 40. And Yelena and Kate from Hawkeye, 31. There's some huge jumps here. Allison and Rhaenyra made it at number 75 as a new entry. Ganyu and Kuching, ah, number 81. Bubbleina's at number 100. Oh, please, please stick on the spreadsheet. Bubbleina, I beg you, stick. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for sticking around this breakdown of all the spreadsheets for the top AO3 ships of the year and of all time. Let me know your thoughts on the placements of these ships. Were there any that you were rooting for? Were there any that surprised you? And if you have predictions for next year, then let's hear it. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm gonna go play D&D now and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.